Hey! Hello. Um, happy Friday. At least right now it's Friday. In this right period. now it's Friday. We are here with you because last April, the kind uh, colleagues of Lucas awarded us with a prize. The, the Lucas Publix Prize. Basically about work that, uh, scientific work that has societal impact or people in academia that have tried to, to do their best for, yes. for society. Of course, our, our work is about games in the past. So, yes. naturally. With the award, we decided to buy a bunch of games. <laughs> exactly. We just wanted to show you to them uh, these games to you real, real quick, real now. We're just going to go through all of them, all the games that are available at the Digital Lab at Leiden. Since we're nerds, of course, we're going to start with the game that takes place in the longest ago past. Exactly. And that is Jurassic Parts. Jurassic Parts is basically a game about digging up Jurassic Parts. I think that's all that we can say about it currently because we haven't played it yet. Exactly. Next up, we have Dominant Species, which is a game about evolution, start of 90,000 BC, but, and you evolve your species. It's very, very simple. <laughs> But also very complex, apparently. Yeah. Next up is Prehistories, which is a fast-playing game about, well, basically moving your people around in prehistory and doing all sorts of stuff. Haven't played this one either, but it's taking place in prehistory. It looked cute, played fast. We thought that's exactly. a winner. Next up, we have Ishtar, uh, where you get to build gardens in Babylon, in fact. So you play as a gardener, you obtain tiles, and you try to become the best gardener in Babylon. I just now witnessed the cuneiform. Cuneiform on the, yes. on, on the cover. It has cuneiform in the cover. It looks really nice. So I'm very excited. You think the rules will be in cuneiform too? I hope not. <laughs> All right. Next up, the classic of the classical period as well. Seven Wonders. Worlds. Svigelds uh, Meest, the Spell. One of the uh, yeah, big, big prize winners and all sorts mm. of things. It's about building the seven wonders of the ancient world. Exactly. Well, next up, we have a follow-up, the Seven Wonders Architects, which admittedly, we don't really know exactly the differences. But, but basically, we got it because you actually get to really build those, those exactly. wonders, right? So here's, I guess it's the Hanging Gardens as well. I think this is the Hanging Gardens, and you get to actually <laughs> see the building itself. Yeah. All right. I kind of feel that you have to do this one as well. Sure, this is 300. Uh, this is a fight between the Greeks and the Persians, pretty much. Very straightforward, as the title says, is a two-player game. Looks a lot, of, look like a lot of fun. So we just got it. I haven't played this one either. I'm intrigued by the subtitle "Earth and Water." Yes, like, like the seventies band. But yeah, 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 a bit. <laughs> All right. Next up, another uh, well, not necessarily a classic, but a, a very popular, well-known game, I guess, "Raiders of the North Sea," which is basically Vikings. The game. It's about. It's a settlement. Uh, it's a settler placement game, in which you place your settlers in such a way that they're going to be best at raiding other villages, and that's basically the whole gist of the game. Then we have another super classic, Carcassonne, where well, it's the popular uh, tile building game. You put in tiles, you try to expand your territories uh, and control as much territory as possible. Next up is a game we haven't played either, but that I'm super excited about. Era. I mean, just the name is already pretty cool. A medieval age game. It's basically a medieval age simulator taking place supposedly in medieval Spain which I guess medieval Iberian Peninsula they mean. But it just looks gorgeous. It does. And it looks like a game that will take some time to play and get to know, but still, um, yeah, that's our jam as well. Next up, one of our all-time favorites, Spirit Island, uh, which has been featured in the uh, Digital Lab for some time. It's basically the anti catan which is coming up, where you try to kick out settlers instead of uh, colonize an island. Yeah, exactly. By now we have uh, thoroughly arrived in the colonial period, even though settlers of Catan or colonisten von Catan, as we call it in Dutch, doesn't really wear that uh, heritage on its sleeve anymore. But there it is, Catan. You know it. You maybe not love it. You won't maybe love it, but we all know it at least. Yeah. And it still belongs in a board game past-focused collection. Exactly. Then we have Sagrada, which it has a clear reference to the church, but it actually is a dice drafting game. I haven't played it, but I've been eyeing it for a long time. It looks super pretty. It has a tons, of, tons of dice, so I'm very excited for this one, actually. Yeah. Next up, I think this was a last-minute decision. Pretty happy with it, though. Sherlock Holmes, consulting detective, uh, with all sorts of, I guess, 
not really cases from the books, but cases from the general time period uh, for you to solve as players uh, collectively. So um, we were warned that if you play this, uh, you already know the answer to all the, all the mysteries. That's fine, because we want as many different people to try and solve these mysteries as possible. Then we have, uh, well, we really wanted a, a Cthulhu-related game. We have discussed this before, how it relates to the past. So we went for the relatively simpler version, Arkham Horror, the card game instead of the board game. But still, it's a ton of fun. It's a great game to play even as a card game. Uh, so yeah, not much to say. It's just very exciting. Now we transcend, uh, not necessarily all time and space, but we transcend sort of the, the chronological line of our board game collection with Tapestry, which is a civilization game which is basically a board game version of civilization in a way, but then just simply not called civilization. And it takes you all the way from the beginning of humankind, apparently, all the way um, until the stars. Uh, one of those games that will probably take a good day to, <laughs> to play, yeah. but we like those as well. Um, next up, we had one that was actually one of, uh, a requested game to have in the lab. It does, probably has nothing to do with the past, or maybe it does. It's Wingspan, it's about birds, so you get to learn a lot about birds. It's a beautiful game, beautifully illustrated. Um, and, uh, and I've yeah. never played it. Have you I've played never it? played it. I've never so, played it. So. Exciting stuff. Um, this is not uh, a thing that we actually got from our prize, but just to sh show that these are in the lab as well, we've got a game design workshop in a box, the white box. Basically, if you want to make games, this is a really nice starter mm -hmm. set so to make your own games. Um, and next up, we have Parchisi, uh, a game we bought from Morocco. Uh, it's a version of Ludo uh, that you might be familiar with, with a bit of uh, different rules, but this is also featured here in the lab. And finally, I think this one is yours as well. It's the Royal Game of Ur, or the Game of 20 Squares. We've been playing this for a very long time. Uh, it's beautifully handcrafted uh, by Paul, and we're very happy that we have this one here. Um, these are not all the games. We actually have a couple more games coming in, but we thought now that we've got all of them, let's make a video and introduce it. We just wanted to show off, basically. <laughs> so um, if you want to go play these games, you have to be in Leiden. Um, that is uh, kind of important with board games. You have to be uh, uh, there in person. They're in the Digital Lab, which is in the VET building right next to the Hortus Botanicus. Digital Lab is open every afternoon from 1 till 5. And, uh, of course, we're going to be playing these games during the coming months as well, and we're going to organize a very nice board game day afternoon for Lucas colleagues or just the colleagues from Leiden University. More of this to follow soon. Hey, thanks for checking out this little video. Thank you. Edit out the millennials. We are both millennials, so we edited it out.